Hey folks, Jim here from Quail Hollow Bird Farm. What I'm going to do today is I want to show you a simple watering system that you can build yourself to supply an ample amount of water to your chickens or your bird flock. Now, we've got approximately 60 or so chickens in the back behind me here. And I've got this space right here between the chicken coop and the pen. And I'm going to make a gravity feed system that's going to supply them water. And it's going to supply it to a tube with little nipples on it. So they can drink the water that they need to have when they need it. And this will help you down the road have a more automated system for your flock. And it uh, will give them very good clean water consistently consistently all the time so i'm going to get some things ready some tools and things i need to do and get started and as i go along i'll show you what i'm doing okay so what i've got to do first folks is i've got to build uh, something to hold my water what i've chose is a 55 gallon container plastic container it'll have a lid that i can seal and i need to make me a really rugged platform that is going to be a little higher than my nipples and my my watering bar because this is going to be a gravity fed system so first thing I got to do is build a platform and build a rugged one then we'll get the 55 gallon drum on top we're gonna place our plumbing in and show you how we do that it's gonna be very simple and then from there, we'll go ahead and test our watering system on our birds and see if they like them. to cut these at 32 inches because that'll put my barrel at just about six feet high. I don't want to get it any higher than that because it, it'll just be harder to put the water in. So we're going to cut these off at 32 and put our bench together. When you cut the 4x4 four four, if you mark three sides you will because your blade will not go all the way through the 4x4 four four, you'll get a lot cleaner cut There you have your cup right there. One more piece. Okay, so where I'm at now is I've went ahead and I've made my table for my big 55 gallon barrel. And the next thing I go do now is I'm going to clean this out and I'm going to get it up on top of here. Now this bench needs to be leveled. Uh, it, it's built pretty strong and rugged. I use sheetrock uh, big uh, deck screws, uh, which is something I would advise you to do. They hold better than nails, okay? Got it all level and I'm going to get my barrel up there. And I'm going to install my washing machine valve. And the reason I use this is because it has these nuts on the end. And I can make a rubber washer and put it on here and have a leak-proof system. 
Also, it's got the valve on here, so if I want to drain this tank, all I got to do is unhook this part right here, the line, and drain the tank. Okay, so I want to drain it to clean it or whatever. I got my pipe, it's low pressure, uh, half inch, three quarter inch, I mean half inch tubing. And I'm going to dig a trench and run it. And finally, what's going to happen is I'm going to hook up to these little nipples right here. And what happens is the chicken comes along and he'll peck on these and that's how he gets his water. It's a really cool watering system. It minimizes the amount of water and, and time it takes to take care of and, and do the watering when it comes to watering your flock. So I'm going to go ahead and get this done and, and you let you follow the steps as I go along. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill me a three quarter inch hole in my barrel to install my washing machine valve and I don't want to put it really close to the bottom because it's beveled here and I won't get a good seal and if you look I've got a rubber washer here and you need to put a rubber washer on both sides of your tank to seal so the water doesn't leak now I'm going to come up right about here with it pretty flat on the tank and put my hole in my valve right there It's going to fit really good. It fits snug. I'm going to have to screw it in a little bit is what I want. And then after I get that valve in there, I'm going to put my rubber washer on the other side, okay, and tighten it down. And then all I got to do is my plumbing. And I'm going to pull this over a little bit so my plumbing will run just right close. I don't want to put the barrel too far on the edge because then it's going to teeter on this edge right here so what I might do is I may even pull it back in here like so and there's a I have a gap right here between my boards and I can do my plumbing through there and it centers it right in the center of my platform okay so just pay attention to the little details so let me go ahead and get my all my materials I need out and get ready to do my plumbing okay so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put on this uh, female hose connector onto my valve and the reason I'm using this type of a connector is so if I want to drain my tank I just unscrew that like you would if you had a garden hose and you can go ahead and drain your tank without having to mess around with your unhooking your tube that's going to go on here just like so I'm going to clamp it up and then after that I'm going to do the fun job of taking the mattock and digging a hole all the way from here over to where my my little nipple bar is going to be that's going to actually supply the water so I really don't think you want to spend time watching me dig a trench so I'm just going to go ahead and get that done and I'll be right back to you all right well we finished up our project here we have our barrel full of water got our valve all hooked up and as you can see we have our line buried we'll go in the pen here and we've got our half inch line that's all buried here and it comes up and comes to our different connectors to connect to the three quarter inch pipe now everything is working good it may take the chickens a day or two to know what's going on and know what's happening so every once in a while what I do is I'll just come into the pen and I will just hit these little nipples now can you see how that works and what happens is the chicken comes up and pecks on that nipple and gets a drink. Okay. And that's how our watering system works. Now this is very simple to do. I just got some hangers and, and hung them to the 4x4s here. Uh, we bridged across right here with a piece of pipe. Okay, so we could extend this, and I have seven nipples on here. And I think for this amount of chickens in this one pen, seven will be enough. We'll see. Anyhow, um, this is a pretty cost-effective and simple water system for you to build. One of the tough things is making sure you go and get all the fittings right the first time to build it, but it'll work good for you. It'll save you a lot of time if you're feeding a lot of chickens. We are feeding probably and watering here in this one pen about 60 to 75 chickens. And my wife comes out here and spends a good part of the morning 
doing chores uh, watering all the chickens so we had to have an automated system and the only, not only for the reason of making the job less work intensive but if you want to leave and go off for a few days we have a gentleman that comes in and watches things for us and check things but if you want to go off for a few days it's good to have automated an automated system uh, here in the next video I'm going to show you how I make an automatic feeder uh, if you look on one of our quail videos, you'll see the feeder itself. It's just a, a deer feeder basically is all it is. And it works really good for automatically feeding your, your birds, whether it's quail or chicken. So this is a simple project to build. There's other ones out there similar to this one. This is how I made mine. I'm sure somebody out there may have a better idea or better connectors or things like that. But... This is how I did mine. It seems like it's going to work good and it's going to be effective. So until the next video, thanks for tuning in, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Like always, if you have any questions, you can contact us at Quail Hollow Bird Farm or Quail Hollow Kennels, uh, com on our website. You can contact us, you know, uh, through our email address. We'll put all that up here at the bottom of the screen. If there's something I left out, you have a question on what I did, just uh, don't hesitate to drop me an email, and we'll help you along and get yours built too. So thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next project here on our little farm.